I was banging the other day looking for my quotation marks. The arc of my life was finding a flotation collar to keep me above the tsunami of doubt. The house was filled by eyes never seen or birth paths that would never be a dream and I was just pushed to the side when pride went by. I wonder, is this thing true? Am I the boo-boo of my life, the existence that will not find the chokehold releasing it and giving me a sense of tomorrow's tranquility? Am I just another example of that in the tar pit, bubbling over with someone's history, pushing me aside with an elbow in the rib of the Freudian sensibility that rejects me easily? I make myself available to be pushed away. Ouch! Dumb day as I might find the paragraph of mine, I find the words on the magic screen. I love being alone. Turn my little fan on. It really irritates me. <laughs> Irritation I find is the push I need. I'm banded about by some music I cannot identify, and it lives in the bones of my casket eyes. It makes me feel alive again, but no one knows where I am. I am my own moment, my own ghost. I am my own plan that finds the fire. The Bunsen burner knocking at my door will not ignite. The flame of whatever is necessary is up to me. I'm bitten by history's need. I hope that within the sleeve of my life that heart that beats remembers me. The treats I find, I unwrap them slowly. If in the mind of that activity, I will find relief, discipline, and sweet to the crutches of my need, my stretcher bearers outside of my door are getting impatient. They're on overtime. So I turn away from it this day. I hear the words, they crack against my eyes and make me feel irrelevant. Others come without surprise in their moisture sense of life and fill the gap in those rooms of appetite and give them all a sense of push, a need, a Milky Way, a conception that relieves them of their self-hate. And I am on the corner of that room, having too many drinks, wondering how I got there so fast. Babies, hold for a while, I say. Beat the thing while they put those paddles on your chest and yell clear. Someone wants to keep you alive. Dress wise in the blues, the invi in the invisibility of the news you say on the headlines that break upon your mind like a crystal ball without information. It's just glass. It falls like broken snowflakes. It touches your heart, and before you fall apart, you must make a call to someone who is alive. Mm -hmm. Hi, babe. What's going on? The tuning fork, that music, that lovely symphony that lives in your heart of mistakes, finds tranquility, and the balance of it all writes itself on this wall. Make sure you wake up tomorrow, not only with sorrow, but a little bit of information that will steal your heart and make whatever it is take you apart from its life and give you the next step, the next flame, the next touch, the next love of your life. Oh, babies, there's that word. I find it difficult to hold up to the electricity of its meaning. The blood pumps through me as if somehow there's a purpose. I stand erect if I make sure my crutches are there. I lean against whatever canvas paintings find in that illustrative sense of mine, the curlicues of undistinguished things to say. Find the word on the page of yesterday, and it breaks open as if it's a welcoming. A crest of wise as that paper boat comes into this histrionic sense of your life and pushes you to make sure you are still alive. Good night. Woo!